Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have installing a electric start for the 224 Hemi motor on this go-kart. And um, thank you guys for all that love and uh, views for the last video. And uh, we're blowing that thing up. But uh, here's the starter. We are going to install on this thing. Instruction and uh, two pairs of keys, or a pair of keys. And looks like that. Perfect, nice size. It has the light on, off, shows you the light, key. This is the charging system. It's like an alternator, kind of. Charges it while you go. And no clue what this is. Bracket or something. No brackets and bolts. And look at that, it's red too. Same color as the go-kart. Sorry, we just pulled it in. It's outside. We actually got some snow about an inch or two, but this is the uh, around it. Perfect, nice red powder coat, whatever you call that thing, paint. But um, we're gonna get this thing installed. Show you guys how to do it. All right, so this process, we have to take the motor out or the other option was taking the body off the side panel and all that, but that was, takes a lot more time. So right now we're just taking the motor off, literally take the chain off, the bolts underneath, and we'll be good to go because we need to have access to put all these parts on and um, get access to everything we need that easy and then put the motor back in and then we'll have that electric start and then um, we will be wiring in lights hopefully next video we'll be seeing that all right so we're down here in the motor we just unbolted the motor Next, we just need to um, get the throttle cable easy. Just take the case off of the, what do you call it? Air filter box. Air filter box. And uh, the line should be running right under there for your setup, or our setup at least. But um, we're having to have the starter. This is where the motor is. This is the starter going to be gonna be we're gonna cut a hole underneath pull this thing up so it's gonna be standing easy that but uh, we'll show you how to put this starter on after we get this uh, engine on the table all right so we got this engine out we'll show you guys the first step but um, we're gonna get everything in order of what to do here quick and um, show you how so this is the <clears throat> a couple videos ago we uh, put this uh, Gosh, I can't think today. The juggernauts. Juggernauts. Thank you. My dad is here for me to speak. The juggernaut torque converter helps this thing move. So if your engine can't move a go kart, try putting a juggernaut torque converter on. That thing will move these big tires. Last video, we got these brand new tires for this thing. They look pretty sick. So. Show you guys the steps on how to put the starter in. All right, so we got the motor. First thing you want to take off is the air filter box after you take the lid off. What size bit is that? That is a 10 mil. 10 mil meter. Okay. So you're gonna want to Pull that thing right off. If you can. See it's catching. I it's the threads. I don't want. <laughs> Just like that. Then throw, these back throw on. the nuts back on so you don't lose them. That's how we roll at least. Probably you guys too, but um 
Okay. Next thing. Next thing is taking the, That's the wrong size. pole guard thing off. Okay, then you're gonna use a 5 16 bit to unscrew the guard at the pole chain. Holy. Oh, should be three. I guess it depends on your motor too. Yeah. <laughs> Take it off. And you yeah, don't want to mess with anything in there. Okay. Next set off. So this is going to be the actual guard like this. Yeah, can I do the bottom? We're taking that off that they actually gave us. So there it looks like four bolts. Then you'll take this thing right off. But we got some wiring over here we got to take apart. And then you have some wiring that you will get to. So. Okay, so once you get those wires off, after you disconnect everything, uh -huh. we will get to the next step. Alright, once you got the cover off and disconnected the on and off switch, you have access to most of the motor now. And um, we'll set this aside. And you're gonna need to find a bit to find a big nut in there. Okay, then you're gonna, the bit size is gonna be 1316, and you're gonna need a um, extension for the drill. We're using the impact drill because that's what you need to get that thing off. So, some smallest extension I got. All right, throw the impact on it. Just hit it a couple times. Lock it in tight. That's where you're at. Gotta find our bolts for this. do is find a piece of business card or a piece of paper. I got a receipt right here from this, so we'll use that. I'll just fold it up a couple times. I'm gonna get a couple hits to the side. Should just break right free. This has a taper on it, so it's stuck in there. So a couple wallops on that, and she comes loose. And there, now you guys have an extra part. So we're getting a ton of extra go-kart parts right now because we're getting all these new upgrades that come with the same parts. So future um, go-karts, we still have the one that we worked on. Here it is. It has a little 79cc motor on that thing. It's probably gonna be for uh, Rylan or my sister, but you still are working on this big boy, big boy. You do a race, this one's gonna win. So after you got that off, we will show you guys the next step. Okay. You get a mystery bag of bolts. Nothing's labeled with this kit. So you gotta find the bolts that We'll go with this one, and this one has two nipples in the back side. It's going to go on just like that on top. And I'm going to throw these two bolts in, and then we'll get to put the starter on the front here. Okay, you will have this plate that would come with it. Right here. And it goes to the bottom bolt of the starter. And right you need under. this one open because of the cover. And bolt that down. Got to remove the 
this front cover. It's got the wire, I gotta pull that off. Okay, so we've got these two holes right here are where the starter is gonna go into. So, we gotta find a couple of bolts that'll work. So for this, oh, it's right here. Scared the crap out of me there for a minute. It's gonna go in there just like that. You throw two bolts in here from your package. It's gotta find the right. Now for it. With this cord here, just run it back and behind there's a space between in here. It'll just run that cord back and through inside out of the way. And then from there, you want to line up your people. With the there new flywheel. Okay. And um, some of yours might have two, and you might have to shave this off. The three. They might have three holes here, where these have four. So ours has four. So we don't have to worry about it because these have nipples in the back of this to lock in. So some guys have to shave it, and then just kind of line this up that make sure that's good everything's kind of just self-explanatory everything lines back up boom and put that nut back on with the impact gun and we'll stick this in between and then tighten that down Jeez. Just make sure this isn't really tight. You want it tight, but we get to put this beast on. Brand new. Just tuck it back in there. Be the same way as you um, took it off, but. There's four bolts on each corner. Can't get to them, find an extension if you have one. Got it. And yeah. Next. Okay. Got it. And then you would put the air filter bottom piece right back on find the holes in it and simple as can be put the tube back into the spot make sure you push these levers push the levers out of the way and that is how you connect or put together the starter that you get and um everything else we'll hook this up next video and uh we'll get lights we got lights for it underglow and all that coming out stay tuned hit that like and subscribe button thank you guys for following and we'll see you guys next time